That became a one-star Amazon review. What you doing? I'm playing around with Canva. So Canva? Wait, can Canva you? Canva do it? Can you Canva? I can. <laughs> so speakers sounding good? Speakers are different, but it does sound a little better. Things good? You're happy? I'm not quite happy. Well, I mean, you're a wife. Y'all never happy. I mean, that was a rhetorical question. <laughs> I wanted you to fix my monitor. I fixed your monitor. See, you wanted it higher. It's higher now. But there's a whole bunch of stuff on my desk. Well, you didn't complain about stuff. You complained your monitor was too low. I fixed it. Okay. <laughs> hey, the right tool for the job is the one you got. And that's that, what I had was two was, packs of paper. That was done in like February. It is July. Yeah, it's on the list. <laughs> I know that it is on the list. I would like for it to move up the list. Okay, well, what of the other stuff do you want me to move down? Um, you can move off the list. You can move off the list moving the washer and dryer to clean behind it. Wait, didn't I already do that? Yes. I see what you did there. You have not asked the appropriate husband and wife question. You know, husband 101. Will this make you happy? Husband 201. Oh, do you want me to fix it or do you want me to listen? I want you to fix it. I fixed it. A better way. Man, all that work, now I gotta fix it again. All that work? You pulled two reams of paper from that filing cabinet. Yeah, did you see how messy that thing was? That was work. What fix do you want? A wall mount bracket, like one of the, probably one of the ones that mounts closer in, it would move back like maybe there. So it only moved back about three or four inches. My question the is... The stand, I'd have to pull the stand off, so the stand and everything below it would be gone. The height would stay the same. Then I could technically move this underneath so it would be <gasps> symmetrical and centered. Wait. Nothing would be in front of the speaker over here. And I could maybe move the speakers in? Uh, you could technically move the speakers in probably as well. So, do you like my idea or not? I kind of like it. Shall I proceed to the Amazons and start looking for something? Today's video brought to you by... Nope. What's waking me up? Oh wait, they didn't pay us anything? No. Hmm. Present arrived for you. Uh, Viv Mount. Vivo. Oh. I think it's Vivo. Yeah, see, it's Vivo US. Wait, was it made in the US? <laughs> I mean, it's so simple, it's already assembled. Ah, it just slides that way, so it slides for side to side. Yeah, so. So, height adjustable. Okay. Mounts close to the wall. Now the question is, where's the stud? Wait, where's the other oh, stud? Oh, I was gonna say, he's right there. And do the whole patterns line up correctly? We'll assume they probably do. I was gonna say, um, probably not. It is made in Made. Where did that come from? Made in China. Let's see what else we got in here. Screws. Oh. Anchors? Did they provide wall anchors? They actually provided real wall anchors. The kind that Wait. I use. Was this like $80? Oh, like 20 bucks. 
Well, I didn't have high hope, but they actually got good wall anchors in here. Wait. I know, it looks like it's been open, but it hasn't. That's... I'm actually impressed. Uh, good size wall anchor there. I mean, it still had the factory seal on it. So yeah, this is just with a little seal on the bag broke. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a case of you can use either size screw. It's probably two different sizes, depending upon what size your, your piece of mount has. So let's move your desk and let's mount this puppy. So first things first, I'm gonna use this ink pen and draw on the wall. Time for the redneck stud thunder. Wait, how to? How to find a stud? Well, it's just, it sounds hollow when there's nothing behind it. When you hit the stud, it gets less hollow. Like so you can kind of hear it. Hollow. Unhollow. Hollow. Plus you can see the mud mark where they covered up a screw. <laughs> I was just kind of verifying that it sounded the same way I thought. Was, yeah, I can see one of the... Yep, yeah, that should be stud right there. I think this thing's actually gonna line up. Dead center, stud. So basically I just need to shift it over a little bit. And then I can put these two in the stud and these two will be out of a stud. The one downside I would say of this bracket is the way it looks. I don't think you can remove this, attach it to the monitor and then attach it to the wall. I think you have to hold the monitor up and put the screws in while it's already attached. Wait, 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 wait. This is a unicorn. Mr. Lion is looking at the instructions. Every so often it's like, huh. Well, I looked at the picture and the picture it seems to indicate that you can actually remove that sucker. Loosen the screws and adjust. Hold on. I might have to start liking this thing. Is it gonna be a like it or not review where you actually like it? I don't know if I need to remove the screw completely or just loosen it. Cause it says, loosen the screw from the adjustable support bracket attached to A1. I'm thinking you have to really loosen it. I was talking about it being loose. Yeah, I can tighten it. Mm, I'm starting to become impressed. That didn't happen. Ever. Yeah, we're going for right about there as being dead center. So I'll put it right about there. There's between the bubble and there's between the bubble. Have you heard the story about the man who had too many levels? Nope, doesn't exist. They do suck at one thing, actually going in dead center. <laughs> like there's always just a little bit of play. So I have a little bit of a trick. This bit is about the same size as the tip. So if I start screwing this in, I can see it from that perspective and that perspective, they're basically the same size. So what I do is use this to try to start the hole a little bit better. So basically I can dead center this and use it as a punch and drill, punch, drill. 
So in theory, it helps to uh, make it easier for the self-starting piece to drill in. These are my favorite wall anchors. All other wall anchors suck. The reason is this. Toggle bolts, once they get, they require a big hole to go in, and once you undo them, a part of it falls down in your wall. The little plastic ones just don't. These are removable. All you do is screw them right back out again. The hole is minimal. you just need two of them? No, I'm actually gonna put the others. I've got some wood screws, but I think these, since I got just the bracket for now, and this is the part, if anything's not gonna line up, it'll be this. I'm in. I may have better screws to use over here on this side. I just meant the wall anchors. You're only gonna use the two. Yes, because they're designed for sheetrock only. There's studs back here. They would, if you tried to screw them in, they would hit the studs. Okay, let's go ahead and snug these two home. Just enough to snug them up. These aren't going to be load bearing. This is just to hold the bracket flat to the wall. Now these two will be my actual load bearing ones in the stud. I think I've got better screws. I like to use sheetrock screws actually. So the reason I like to use these drywall screws is that the threads are very deep where the screws they provided, their thread is not a lot. So the actual gripping thread surface is just not huge. That one actually missed. Is it this way? Yep. Studs that way. So I'm just over the line. And she still snugs right on up. Now I gotta remember how this thing attaches. Ah, maybe with friction. Look, the screw holes line up perfectly. Really? Are you serious? Well, of course it do. Well, it's a piece of mount, it's a standard. There's like the two different sizes. Yes, but I mean, okay. I know, it's one Why of my projects. Say... Uh, it's like things are lining up perfectly. It's scary, isn't it? Wait, yes, because what just happened? Everything is working fine. Something is about to fail miserably. <laughs> Like, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I'm trying to hand tighten it in case it's not, because I almost tripped nothing out. Yes, the last time I filmed something, it didn't go well, so that footage did not go up. That became a one star Amazon review. What became a one star review? The front brakes for mom's car. So, not the bracket. Nope. I've never had a wall mounted bracket before. I'm hoping it doesn't bug the poop out of me. Uh, it's too late now. <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> so this is the lowest setting. It needs to go higher than that. This is the highest setting. And then if we go all the way up, it goes back down again. I'm like, why is it? Well, you remember I said something about that one bolt back there that I kind of loosened a little bit? Mm -hmm. uh, if it keeps wiggling once we get everything pushed up, I'll need to tighten that bolt. Low, 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 low. And I'm guessing it can't come. Forward. Forward. Nope. Can it, it tilt can, any? Yes, it can tilt. Can it tilt this way a little? Grab bit? the bottom and pull it towards you a little bit. Yeah, I'll need to tighten that bolt up in the back a little bit. Cause it's yeah, kind of, it's, 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 it's floppy. Just, yeah. It just 
Yeah, I need to tighten up that bolt because when I spun the bracket earlier, it loosened. So <laughs> it's like slowly drifting. But how's the height? I think and, it's good. And the distance? I think it will be fine. So do you like it or not? I think I'm gonna like it. Okay, so let's fix it and see what the final thing looks like. Okay, so you'll have to tell me how you like it. My OCD is almost happy. You mean by almost? How's it working? Oh, I think it's gonna be fine. So do you like it or not? I like it. I gotta say, I actually like that bracket. 20 bucks, it's flush mount. You can still side to side pivot. You can still top to bottom pivot. Height adjustable. Quick install. And it had the wall anchors. Yeah, I mean, I, I gotta say it's five stars. Wait, wait, look at me. You mean it's not four? No, it's not four, it's five. Wait, I'm sorry, it's four. <laughs> yeah, I kinda, wanted to, I kinda wanted to do that. That's what I meant to do and <laughs> I didn't actually do it right. When it comes to trying to tighten that, it was a little bit difficult. I actually had to remove the visa mount from the back of the monitor and physically hold the back of that little swiveling bracket to tighten it down. But, By the way, I see what you did here by putting an OCD that way, but I type like this. You type crooked? Because I'm most comfortable sitting like this and ergonomically it you're weird. You married me. You know, technically it should be higher. You are joining us today for an amazing tutorial. This is a funny bit. And I'm gonna send it backwards. Wait, are you just- Uh-oh, I accidentally cut something out that I can't get back. <laughs> Let's move on. Wait, did you essentially just dump a commercial in my video? Again? I wanted to um, give a shout did out Did you plug the, your other I wanted to give a shout out to the other channel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is right now. My it's, video. It's only six subscribers away from reaching the 100 milestone. Sure, just make our channel look like the lame piece of junk that it is. I can't help it. Well... We could fix that by not being lame people. <laughs> right, I think we're lame. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not the channel, it's the people in the channel. <laughs> what I wanna know is what's wrong with my packs of paper? Your monitor's higher, and hey, if you're running out of paper, it's sitting right there. Um, well, if I ran out of paper, then I would have to pull the paper out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's Mad Dash project. Be sure to check out our other recommendations for your viewing pleasure, including the Canva tutorial featured in this one. See you next week. Bye.